Welcome back to this Let's Play of King's Bounty Crossworlds. We are exploring uh, the underground of Montero today, and I was looking at the map. Or I guess we're re-exploring, you could say, and I'm noticing there's a bunch of areas we did not go to last time. So hopefully maybe we can explore all these areas now. My guess is there's some you know monster packs here that were too tough for us at the time that maybe now we can handle. But uh, we'll see, I guess, as we get closer up here. Um, so I believe that's that giant goblin. Um, so we're not going to go there. I don't think we can beat that. There's a boss battle, and there's the point. We won't go there. Entrance to the abandoned mine. I can't remember if we did that yet either. Oh, I found a treasure. Cha-ching! 15,000, sure. Also an intellect. What? Oh. Oh, I was going to say, why didn't I go down here before? There's nothing here. Very strong. We should be able to beat you. Do I have any? I could make sure we beat him. Sure. Gulp. Big gulp of that. And death. Alright. Your boss, you're a dead man, in theory. Um. I was gonna say an AoE dragon attack would be great right now. But I can't afford one. Um, these assassins want to teleport behind people. So let's wait. Um, he just cast summoned phantoms. Okay, that's that's fine. Phantoms is okay. So we have a melee heavy army. We want everybody to move up if we can. Which they've done. Oh, wow, I can just kill this army right out. Oh, I don't have to use my special ability. Stab get wrecked. I guess it's a melee army versus a melee army in reality. Like, they're just, they're all melee also. Um, I could move my paladins up. And I was gonna say I could haste them, but I think we figure, I think haste is a plus two right now. Yeah, I really need to probably get that to mass here. Um, just crushing blow on somebody. I won't even kill them, though. Mm. Let's just move up for the moment. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got backstabbed. That's fine. Um, you know what I could do to remove that poison? Oh. Kill you. Okay, so now we need to use our Abilities. Let's see. I think all these are two turns, though. I'm trying to wait. But, um. Who do we want to even attack with this? Can we just. Oh, let's see if we can kill this stack. I'd like to kill off stacks if possible. Oh, wait a second. Oh, dang it. That's the only unit that my. <laughs> that, was a... that was a mistake. It was the only unit my, uh, what are they, guardsmen could have hit. Oh, well, that was just dumb. Oh, well. No, no take backs. That's fine. Just an unfortunate mistake. Um... I guess that works. They can take a lot of damage, those knights. Let's just keep removing the poison. Just keep killing these guys. I mean, my my stacks seem to be powerful enough to just destroy these guys, mostly. Poor paladins. Slowly creeping forward. Um... Just crushing blow again, I guess? Suppose on Look at these assassins. I mean, this fight's actually not too bad, though, which makes sense. It said very strong, which 
reality is, is it's not. Okay, that's all fine. Bam. I was going to say that one and that one are just phantoms, so I can kind of ignore them. Need to get a resurrection in, though. Um, I suppose I could start doing my own resurrection. Um, sure. Oh! Have him move around this way, because maybe I can get this group here next turn. Well, I know they're phantoms, but I kind of want to get them grouped up, like I said. Did he just teleport my archers? Oh no, he shrunk my archers. For some reason, I thought he just teleported them because I could see the blue from the knights there, from the horsemen. And I couldn't, because he got so small, I couldn't tell he was there. Did you just take my spot? Thank you. That I wanted to put my uh, paladins in. Guess you'll have to die just for that. Oh yeah, but dang it. Um, hmm. what if I second wind? on you and then I wait oh Dang, I hate when I do that too press the wrong button so instead of waiting I've resurrected because well mistakes were made oh well that's fine I'm just making mistakes all over you can tell I haven't played in a while sheesh um crushing blow on you yeah we can probably just kill him so if we had screwed up our Paladin ability there. Actually, you know what? We could do a lower level one. Wait a second. He's level two. He's level three. He's level two. This does levels all one through two. Ah, okay. But I feel like maybe the guardsmen are missing some, but that's why. Okay. Well, we're still gonna just win the battle. Yep. Yeah. Thirteen guardsmen, four horsemen, and we'll get one of those groups back in a second, so. Yeah, so we're missing some guardsmen. Do we have... No, we don't have any backups of guardsmen. Oh, I could switch. I forgot I had some of these inquisitors also. Well, that's fine. Overall, the point is we can easily explore around here now, which is, which is nice. Uh, were these trapped miners? I don't... I haven't been down here in a while. Let's see. I let my pick do the talking, so help me. Who's that there, eh? Well, what about us? How can we work, huh? I'm asking you, how can we? What's all this about? That damn saloon keeper. May he be buried alive. Mistakenly sent our keg of fine dark beer to Iron Fist. And that scoundrel didn't see fit to return it to us. No, no, not he. He drank it to the dregs, and now is refusing to pay a penny for his gluttony. What about us? Are we now expected to put in a full day's work on an empty belly? Statute 139 clearly states, All members of the Miners Guild require beer in return for services rendered, and shall not work without adequate refreshment at all time. And we've, just, uh, and we've got just short of four teams at work on this shift. Maybe I can help. You? Help us? <laughs> you don't know Iron Fist. He's one of the keepers of the Force of the Three Kings. He drank our keg in two swallows. Every day, saloon keepers send him more than ten kegs, just so he won't cause them any trouble. Sometimes, Iron Fist guzzles a barrel or two, then hurls his empties down the shaft, sending the miners diving for cover. But he's mostly, mostly left us alone. So far. Alright, well, what now? Our wrath has no limit. We understand that the Eternal Keeper, Iron Fist, has the power of the Three Kings, as defender of the Obelisk of Ice. We understand that's a hard fate, and when he sends us running for cover, we've always forgiven him. But this time he drank our beer. Our patience is finally at an end. Iron Fist must now be brought to an account. Custodian of the Obelisk or not, we're putting a price on his head. We have a little gold put by, and this is as good a use for it as any. Alright. 
Well, I can see you really mean it very well. I will challenge Iron Fist on your behalf. That beer still an Iron Fist. Son of a gun. And I'll take a battle battle cry scroll while I'm at it. Alright. Um well, we'll deal with him at some point. Bitter's nest, thank you. So I was going to talk about it. We um I was talking to some people in the what last video I think maybe two videos ago as many of you know I always record oh this guy's weak let's just kill him I always record a few videos ahead so I'm always ahead a little bit so in the last video we're the one before that uh, let's wait actually I could crush and blow right now I was talking to talking in the uh, comments section about defeating those dragons that uh, that I failed against in the failure video, if you guys have seen that one. And we are talking about some different ways to do it, and some different unit types, and I was talking about the fact, like, for instance, I've been sticking with a mostly human army. Like, I might miss, mix in some dwarves or some elves, but overall, it's been a mostly human army, which I kind of like to stick with. You know, certain unit types, I guess you could say, just for the... Uh, Mm, let's move. Oh, I can't get him. Let's just kill this then. Just for the roleplay aspect. The kind of like, um, if you saw my dark side run, King's Mighty Dark Side, I played as Oryx the whole time. And if I played as the magic, the magic guy in that one, the vampire, I probably would have done Undead Army, for instance, because that's just that's just personal preference. I kind of like that roleplay aspect. I've been thinking, you guys all have to let me know in the comments, would anybody be interested in seeing, like, I guess you could say challenge runs on, on different ones? Like, maybe playing the legend again, but trying to only use the undead, or only use animals, or something like that. Only use certain unit types. Um, because I like to make little, like, challenges, and the roleplay aspect I really, I really like. Um... Or, for instance, if I replayed Dark Side, like if I played as the Demoness, I'd probably use Demon Units. Like, I just kind of like that. But if you guys have any, like, I guess you could say fun challenges down below, you could let me know. Like, I'm not looking for, you know, I want to say, you know, only use one stack of units the whole time. Like, I don't want to, like, make it so I'm just sitting there struggling the whole time. Eh, that's not that fun. But trying to make it work with, you know, just animal units, for in, for instance, could be interesting. Uh, this paladin can wait. I was gonna send him up, but this choke point is so tiny. Oh, what happened to this guy? He lost his turn. I must have got. Sh I wasn't talking. He must have got shot by the beholder, probably. That's fine. We'll block the choke point with these two. I was gonna use those two guys instead. Yeah, the horseman can't get through either. Like, this choke point's really tiny. Uh, just defend, I guess. I really like to just kill you, Beholder. That's fine. The Paladin can totally take that hit. Now, yeah, got him down to one. Um, eh, I shouldn't even be thinking about this too much. Just like, take them out. Like, I know, have you guys tried any challenges? Because, like, I've thought about before trying, like, playing the Legend, for instance. I'm only using, you know, level 1 units. Or level 1 and 2 units. But I don't know how difficult that would be. You know what I mean? Like, eh, that... Like, is it difficult to the point where it's just going to be frustrating versus fun? Like, I want it to be fun, not frustrating, is what I'm looking for. Um, and so, that's always, that's always a tough one to figure out if, oh, well, I get late in the game, I'm going to find out that, oh, this is miserable, for instance. I can't get to anybody. You know what, actually, don't I have teleport? What if I teleported you? Over here. And then said, surprise, dwarven scum. 
and surprise uh, droid scum. Bam! Oh, got the crit and killed him. Very nice. All right, we're wearing him down. Let's rushing blow on this guy. Like this. Bam! Oh, wow, he got slammed too. Um, I'm trying to think if, like, we're really missing much here. No, two losses there, four losses there. Uh, wait, can I not? Oh, I need to level this up one more time. That's right, and I need 25 crystals. That's right. I say, I thought I could do level four, but that's that's right. I cannot actually. Let's slow this dwarf down. I'm realizing I probably need to. Get my army all grouped up over here. Um, perfect. I'm going to... Um, going to ace this guy. Move all my army together so I can resurrect on them. Perfect. He's slowed, so he's got a speed of what, like one now? Yeah, one. <laughs> there we go. Now we've done the resurrection correctly this time. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's make sure we don't have anybody else we need to resurrect. But I think probably, yeah, I would say, I don't think we've lost anybody. I mean, there's really no reason to even bother hitting this guy. We'll just push him into a corner. <laughs> Poor Dorf. Just slapping him around. Really nothing he can do about it. After one space over there. We should try moving faster than one space, Dorf. Give the archers another turn. No loss, bam! Or Taurus just slowly crawling forward while we pepper them with arrows. All right, nice, and we leveled up, very nice. That was a nice, easy fight. I was just talking about, hmm, getting distortion magic level three. Really, let's do that. Now our biggest problem is getting magic crystals. Because I want to get Resurrection level 3. Cost me 25 crystals, but I think if I could get Mass Haste now, I think I would get it. Oh, I can. Mass Effect. Plus 2 speed to everybody. I do like the sounds of that. Mm-hmm. I do indeed. Let's get that. Oh! The real question is, is there anything else I would like? Guessing it mass slow would be nice against a a big group of uh, like if we had a lot of ranged units, which maybe we'll get eventually. Dig 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 dig. Guess let's take a peek up here. Nice that there's all this area we couldn't get to before though. Speaking oh, of crystals, excellent. Lightning. Oh. Enemy troop weak. Lethal Fangol. Oh, I can't fight him yet, but... I could totally kill this guy that's defending it, though. <laughs> the forward guard. We could just kill him, apparently. Um. Wait, I suppose. These guys are just one. Okay, well, you just get that out of your system. Sure. They'll still attack, though. Do the haste now. Oh! Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. My paladins can even get over there. So can I give my archers a turn, even though they lost it? Let's test this. Either way, paladins charge! Nice. 
This is mostly a melee army, huh? Those wolves sure are annoying. Yeah, you gotta think if we did a challenge where it was like only level one and two units, some units like these wolves, oh man, they'd be annoying. As it crippled your entire army. Um. Okay, this uh, this army is doing pretty good. So it looked like he. Oh no, it says turn two now. So I guess he did take an extra turn then. Nice. That's because that speed boost for the horsemen. Oh man, that really boosts their bonus damage. For those that don't know, they get bonus damage for how many like hexes they travel on the way to the enemy in a straight line, and so it really boosts their damage. Uh, kill this guy. Don't get by my archers. Thank you. Hey, I just said don't. Oh wow, I just punched those droids to death. Very nice. Oh, we're just slaughtering this army. Oh my goodness. Scared or not? Um. Hmm, I'm trying to think where I. Because I should have my army group up because we've taken a loss here or there. My paladin's probably. There we go. Let's see if we can get all of our army around the paladins. And then we'll do a resurrection. Something like this. There we go. Well, that's actually really good. Let's move him up here. And then wait. And wait. And then ha! Oh. And let's see if we can... Uh, Resurrect nobody. Beautiful. Can we kill you in one shot? We can. Excellent. Alright, so that should be another perfect. Yeah, very nice. I and mean, we're not getting much. 564 XP is pitiful, but we don't want to take losses. Okay, so I guess we'll come back to kill you later. I'll be back later, and in greater number. Alright, let's continue to look around out here. Say there was because there was another way to go up right here. Let's see where this one goes. Treasure, a clay bowl. Do I want that? No, not that one. Plus five mana, minus one intellect. We literally found some trash lying on the ground and decided to pick it up. Great. This guy. Lethal. Oh, that's Iron Fist. Oh. The Obelisk. Ooh. Alright, well, we'll come back and kill you later. So maybe this this whole area gives us access to the other... Uh... Grab that. Oh, nice. Magic room. Gives us access to all where all the Obelisks are, because we couldn't get to them before. I don't remember. Oh. Slightly weaker. Excellent. We're full up on rage, so death. Hmm. We are full up on rage, huh? Well, not full up. We need 50 for a dragon dive. Almost, though. Um. That's a lot of ranged units. Like, is there anything that's not a ranged unit? The ghosts, I guess. That's a lot of ranged units. Um. Well, let's. Definitely, uh, haste everybody. I'm trying to see who's gonna go next for their army. Uh, none of these guys are really gonna move forward, probably. I'll have the horsemen wait. Because they maybe could pick somebody off. I hit these... Uh, Wanted to hit the. There we go. Shoot these. There we go. Those cannoneers. That's fine. And he got put to sleep. Of course he did. If this unit does move forward, potentially my horsemen can attack us. Oh. Ow. 
Oh, that's that's terrible. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's that's pretty brutal. <laughs> sure, dragon dive. Bam. Okay, so we definitely need to try to wipe out some of these dang uh, beholders. They can't do that. I would say once we get on top of them, I think we'll be okay. My yeah, I'd say my poor, my poor archers are gonna get keep getting put to sleep, but we can give an extra turn to somebody actually. Um, yeah, so we can kill you. Oh, should crushing blow on the Cyclops. They got a lot of health. We'll just have to try to resurrect at the... Um, I was going to say at the end. Maybe I should cast a resurrection spell in a moment. Our armies at least... Somewhat together. This guy's been taking the brunt of the attacks, I feel like. Let's give him a resurrection. And then next turn, try to gather my army together? I suppose. Move him up here. The archers are too slow, and that's with haste, huh? Yeah. Ouch. Alright, well, let's just move them up. Yeah. 650. Oh! Oh, I... Mm. Ouch. I didn't factor in the fact that we could have just critted them, and then we did. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, well. That's fine. We'll have to go back and get more soldiers eventually. That's unfortunate, though. We lost a lot of guys because I... I didn't calculate the crit in. Oh well. Guys, Necromancer Mesmer isn't immediately attacking me. He is lethal, though. Let's just see what he has to say. Odom of Adrenaline. You know what we could do? I feel like I've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of scrolls right now. I do. Yeah, let's sell... Sell two lightning. I don't need Galat's armor. Uh... Initiative. Could be useful to go first. That's a what? Distortion, probably? No. Order? Oh, it's order. I'm gonna sell one of them. I'll keep one. Maybe I might want that. I feel like the initiative is better if like, you have a ranged army so you can just batter them quickly before they can get to do anything. Let's see what he says here. Ah, so, who is this I see? Hmm, a strange essence. It appears to be human, but if one looks with the eye of the mage, one gets a most interesting picture. Who are you and what do you want? Why do you come to my castle? I mean, I am here to destroy you, but uh, not right now. <laughs> my name is Emily, and I would like to know what kind of place this is. My name is Mesmer. I am an adept of death. Or necromancy, as you would say. And this is my domain. I rarely receive guests. Or should I say, I don't often have people visiting of their own free will. <laughs> Alright. Where did you learn necromancy? My mentor was Dark Mysticus, a great magician in his own right. He revealed to me the many secrets of death. I am proud and deeply grateful that he had confidence enough in my abilities to make me his disciple. Mysticus lives in the, on the nameless island, which he himself created. A wonderful place, quiet, calm, and it simply radiates power. Alright, how is it that you came to Montero? The dwarves do not take kindly to necromancy. I was kindly invited by Agni, who offered me everything I needed for my research. As you probably know, dwarves are annoyingly resistant to magic. Even necromagic works poorly upon them. 
I have spent ages trying to penetrate this anti-magic barrier, exposing dwarven corpses to tortures of flesh and spirit, but not without some slight success. Yesterday, I trained one of my zombies to light a candle. You need help. <laughs> right now, I am busy creating a skeleton pit. A magical pit in which dead bodies are degenerated and recomposed in the form of skeleton, and all without any interference from a mage. Just imagine how much time I will save. To complete the construction work, though, I need more laborers. 300 miners should be enough. As for my research, I require a batch of fresh samples, preferably live dwarves. <laughs> and hmm, to be quite accurate, I need a giant, an alchemist, a cannoneer, and a dwarven warrior. One of each should be sufficient. That's a lot of things you want, buddy. If you didn't need one of each, that's going to be hard to deliver back. Ugh, what a pain. What shall I receive in return? I will allow you to make full use of my pit for your own conversion. You will be able to produce any number of skeleton warriors, providing you have sufficient uh, raw materials, shall we say. My studies prove successful. I will have learned how to create invulnerable, undead troops from the courses of Dorvan soldiers. All this I lay at your service without charge. Agreed? Guess we'll say okay for now. Because I can still just attack him. So... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I can say I want to use his services already, but no. We've got we've still got to get the stuff for him first. I was say, we'll use his services and then kill him. Especially because we're not using an undead army. Not really a valuable... Uh, a valuable reward he's offering us. Other than maybe we'd get some XP, like... Uh, probably just going to kill him, you know, later. Uh, goodbye, Mesmer. We'll kill you later. Alright, well, I suppose we will stop today's video right here. And the next time we will continue to explore the underground here. Ooh, and get a might rune. If you guys have any thoughts, any comments, any questions, make sure you let me know down below. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.